Hello, hello, hello. Right, so there does seem to be a new issue with Sky Glass and Sky, Tri <laughs> Sky Stream. Um, that issue being <clears throat> channels disappearing. Not so much, uh, oh, it's the cat. I wonder what that was. <laughs> Not so much um, channels not there or whatever. It's slowly disappearing and apparently it is a new bug. Um, I don't really know a massive amount about it. Um, it is on the Sky community. Uh, you probably can't see that, but it's on there. So it says, uh, I've got someone here saying, hang on a second. It started with just two channels, but slowly they're disappearing. <laughs> uh, channels like Gold and MTV. So let's try Gold, see what happens. Um, UK TV Gold. Okay, does... No, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, cat. That's enough, my dear. <laughs> right, let's just have a look um, and try and find some. Um, I'm not sure where UTV Gold is. All right, let's pop all channels on and just have a little search like I always do and then can never find anything. There's UTV Gold. Let me just click that one because a picture in picture no, that's working, so that's all right at the moment. Um, MTV. So it doesn't seem like I've got the bug. Uh, let's have a look at some other, some other, other channels. So what they're saying is you, you go to click on it and it's blank. It's not that it's not there, it's just uh, not broadcasting. But... Um, Okay, so Q's fine, Sky Q is fine, but it seems to be something for stream and um, glass, which is really weird, unless it's because it's an internet-based service, which is all I can uh, sort of say. Obviously, ITV requests an update. This is a really weird bug, and it's only been going on, apparently, for two days. The other turning on my Sky Glass or Sky Stream that doesn't work is a seven day issue now, um, as it states on here. Um, bah, 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 bah. Random channels for some people, ITV, um, okay, NFL and horse racing missing. Okay, let's try and find NFL. NFL. Uh, that's going to be a sports channel, so I don't pay for that. So that's not going to work. <laughs> um, right, these are these are longer than a day old. If you ask, uh, a couple of days old, because there's like twenty five pages. Wow, 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 wow. That's 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 quite unbelievable, Sky, that you still haven't sorted these problems out. Oh. So, I don't know what to think about this. This is another problem. They're going to end up banging updates on people's Sky Glasses and Sky Streams, and hopefully it won't be an issue like last time. But I can imagine it probably will be, and we'll probably be back stuck to silly, silly problems like the uh, not turning on again. No BBC channels, uh, no subscription restarted, but some same fault. So it looks like people without subscriptions are having issues as well. So I'm, oh, 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 I don't see how that would work if it's going through your terrestrial part. Um, being told to upgrade subscription when trying to watch BBC4 HD and Gold HD. Let's go to the last page and then we'll go to the first page. Hmm... And no one can call Sky because they don't like to answer their phones at the moment. They want to use online sources. There's nothing really on this one. It just says about trying to phone uh, Sky. 
and I really hope the cats aren't going to start fighting because one of them's come in really, really quickly, like something's panicked her. <laughs> I'm going to try and shut the door in a minute. Right, here we go. Oh, since, oh right, this is Sky employee, right? Our engineers are restoring service. If you continue to have problems, please unplug your TV slash puck from the wall socket and plug it back in again. Mm. But I thought that's what that reset thing, hang on, I wonder if that's still on there because that was part of the big update originally. So let's see if that's actually still on here because that will be interesting. That's not it, I can't remember where it is now. Here? Yeah, restart's still on there. So why are we unplugging the tellies when there's an option there for it that Sky put there for that exact thing? Oh, dearie me, Sky. Dearie, dearie me. So someone created it. Uh, upgrade to watch this affecting a number of channels. Oh, dearie me. Deary me, I must be lucky not to have this issue because I normally, well, I don't normally watch a lot of Sky Channel, so I wouldn't have noticed this as much. Um, GB News as well. BBC One connection issues. Um, it's, yeah, it's BBC channels, children's channels. That really sucks. That really sucks because these people are paying for a service. I really, really hope that people are not going to have to pay their full subscription this month. Even though I just did, my bill went out. You know, even though I was, a, I know I was only a day out, but that's that's fine. But I expect some kind of acknowledgement, an email to me saying that we do apologise for the outage or the issues that you might have been. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be quite a hard thing for Sky to address for the simple fact they don't know who's been affected because a lot of people might not be reaching out to Sky and asking them, you know, what can I do? Can you please help me? Um, like myself, I try to, but I just got the silly automated system to go online and blah, blah, blah. I think I probably did put, yeah, did I put something on? Yeah, I did put something in the um, in the forums. I have no idea if there's any sort of a reaction or anything to that because I hate Sky forums. They are full of fanboys where Sky can do no evil and they're never wrong. But there do seem to be a few people. But the people on there that do moan don't slate Sky like I do, unfortunately. But you've got your minds. You can... It's meant to be a free world and they shouldn't be censoring what you're putting on there because you're only telling the truth. So what's wrong with that? So people can understand what they might be getting into <clears throat> if they're going to buy a Sky Glass or a Sky Stream or Sky Q. I have no idea what that was like on launch, if that had any bugs or if it was perfect out of the box. I'd like to think it was perfect out of the box, but as we can see here with the uh, Sky Glass, it's clearly not. It's just a complete arse, most of the things. So let's try and get Sky to listen to us people and give us some customer service, not just give us some bullshit on going looking on a website, plug your TV, unplug it, to switch it on, switch it off. My God, that's a thing of the past, isn't it? With mobile phones, when you used to have issues with your mobile phones back in the days, what was it? Turn it off, take the battery out, put it back in. Come on. We're way beyond that, aren't we? I don't think I've had to do anything like that with a device for oh, probably at least 10 years, maybe not more. Because you turn it off and on, you don't have to take a battery out. You shouldn't have to unplug it. That's like taking the battery out. Come on. Come on, Sky. Sort it out. Um, and if I could get some of your support, tell me all your problems below in the comments. I don't care if it's hundreds of you commenting, saying uh, this, that and the other. Um, I know a lot of you say, oh, it's not affecting me, blah, blah, blah. It's not affecting me. But I'm still here for the people that it is affecting. And I want to know all your issues so I can try and address them. And hopefully Sky might watch some of my videos because my videos are getting bigger. They're getting pushed out to a wider audience now. And Sky might actually start thinking, you know, 
let's sort something let's sort some customer service out let's get in contact with some of these people let's try and help instead of nothing at all so i'm here to try and help you all so thank you for watching like and subscribe <laughs> whatever <laughs> if you want to that would be marvelous thank you very much